on, friends. Let's do this. As I start letting go of what my upbringing in society and all have placed on me, how can I tell what's really me and what I was just convinced is me by others? Uh, okay, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> whew, questions of identity are always really hard for me to answer because I'm not sure I believe in identity in any sort of permanent fixed sense. So what I mean by that is every moment we may be somebody completely new. There's probably nothing about us that doesn't change over time. And so this idea of finding our true selves uh, feels a little bit like a fool's errand to me. So I guess I'll just start there and ask if you have to label yourself at all. If you just do the things you want to do with the people that you want to do them with, then do you have to ask this question of identity at all? Do you have to, you know, get out the marker and draw the box in a particular place and say, okay, this is me and that's not me. Uh, as I've said many times on this channel, I feel like that's really dangerous because when you decide who you are, you're then deciding who you aren't. And in doing that, you may be missing out on opportunities to explore different ways of being, to engage in different types of thoughts or perspectives or worldviews. And you may just not be allowing your, allow, bleh, <laughs> you may not be speaking, you, you may not be allowing yourself to behave in whatever way a particular situation calls for because you're convinced that's just not who you are. So you're always you. You don't have to say, I'm the person who blank. Uh, again, that's really dangerous. If you decide, you know, I, I'm an athlete, then when you can't play sports, what, have you lost yourself? Or you decide, oh, I'm my job, and then you retire, and then what? Now you're not you. You, you are such an infinitely complex, nuanced, ever-changing being that this quest to pin that down, I think, can be a little bit scary. If there's this, this question mentions the past, so if there's things that you've done in the past that aren't adding value, that you're not finding joy in, then just simply let them go. And if there's aspects of your past that are, are still bringing value, then of course bring them in. So I would just trust your intuition. I would trust how you're feeling about different things and then um, just go with your gut in the moment. Don't feel like you have to say, oh, but am I that person? Just no, this sounds good right now, so I'm gonna do that. Or this doesn't sound good, or so I'm not gonna do that. Or I have no idea, so I'm just gonna try everything and see how that experience treats me. When in doubt, just lead with curiosity. You'll end up a lot of fun places and you'll keep becoming a new you each and every day. So thank you for asking this question. I really appreciate it. I know it can be difficult when people from our past try to put us in particular boxes and we don't see ourselves in the same way. So I invite you to just continue growing in all of the ways, always. Thank you so much for asking. I appreciate you all tuning in. If you have other thoughts, please share them down below and I'll see you back here next time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>